Hey, you are at Usatility, gamer's best channel. Now you will find out how to download and install the Talisman Online M on PC, therefore, we can enjoy with keyboard and mouse even on a large screen. No need to stick the eyes on a small screen, but it's the time to experience Talisman Online M on PC. Concentrate on the display and watch the video step by step. Therefore, let's begin. To begin with, open up any browser such as Google Chrome, and you should click the link provided in the video description. This is the website link that you need to use. You'll automatically be forwarded to this web page of Bluestacks Talisman Online M. Bluestacks is a program to install any Android game on the computer system so let us install Talisman Online M using this method. Bluestacks runs as an emulator and making use of a keyboard and mouse, you can play any Android game on your PC. Only press on Download Talisman Online M for PC, and then this game will be installed on your laptop or computer. Here it is, Bluestacks Installer.x. We go to the file that has been downloaded. If permission or terms appear on the screen, then you'll need to respond with yes and then accept them. I will minimize the browser so that we can view the game installer much better. Now I am going to opt for the directory where I'd like to install Talisman Online M. If you want to customize the directory, you'll then only click Customize the installation. Then, click here on Back, and then press Install Now. It'll download some megabytes. The download of the game is determined by internet speed. It'll then install the emulator on your system. The installation of the emulator is finished. As Bluestacks has been installed first time, therefore it is going to take the time to launch. The next task is vital. We have to log in to Google Play, let us head over to, sign in. When you head over to it, you will be required to provide the necessary information to log in to Google Play. Remember that installation won't be started without this step. I'll be back after this particular step. Just like we've described, we will input email as well as the password to get access to the Google account. Look, we've entered our Google account. You're meant to accept the terms of use, and for this purpose, only hit on, I agree. It asks for making a backup of the system in the cloud storage, but we do not need it, so we press, no. We now have accepted the terms, and we have entered Google Play. If you'd like to return to the desktop, you should click on this tiny arrow. On your computer screen, the icons of Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance will be displayed. The, Bluestacks, icon is basically for starting the Bluestacks app. Now, to install the game, we would click this icon. After finishing all the essential steps, we have ultimately gotten to the installation step. See, we're going to hit on Google Play to install this thrilling game. The game installation has been started, and now, the game will be downloaded within the laptop. In case you have a fast internet connection, then it will not take such a long time to download Talisman Online M to keep the length of the video short for you, I will skip this step and will return after downloading it. After installing the game, the icon of Talisman Online M has appeared on the computer's desktop, so we can directly begin Talisman Online M. When we reboot the computer, we double-click this specific Windows desktop icon, and then the game will launch. You can even go to the game through Bluestacks. Click here to start Talisman Online M and have fun. You may also modify the options of the keyboard from right here. Anyways, keyboard configurations already seem to be ideal, therefore, we will close these settings. First of all, let me tell you the two main big screen solutions. This is actually to maximize the emulator, you will get a full screen with a border. It would not be a 100% full screen. Press F11 to have 100% full screen and then press the same key to exit. Like that, we will be able to play in full screen without having anything from Windows disturbing us. In case you have a powerful laptop, it will better assist gaming within an emulator. Want to find out how to alter the language? Let's explore it. To change the language, select this cogwheel and then press on preferences. You can choose any language from this point that you want to. I've eventually altered the language, see. Anyhow, this is the game setup. Quite simple I will keep posting such useful stuff for all of you, therefore, please subscribe to Usatility as well as give a thumb up to this video. Thanks for viewing, we'll be back again with more such videos.